Hi there, I'm Thomas Michaud. Today I want to talk about an issue that has bothered me and a lot of people about playing guitar, and that's a sore back. Now, what inspired me today is I got an email from a young lady, 19, and she told me that she's already getting a sore back from practicing guitar. So I felt I had to do something. Now, this is an issue that I've had over the years, and part of the reason is because I spent many years and many hours practicing hunched over my guitar without paying any attention to my posture. So today, I'm going to help you to have a long, happy career playing the guitar without a pain in your back. So I want to start with the main issue, and it has to do with bad posture when you're practicing or playing the guitar. So when you're practicing sitting down, you want to pay attention to how your back is angled. Part of this is just simply paying attention, but I'll give you some details as well. When you sit down, you want to make sure that you're not hunched over for periods of time over your guitar as you're practicing looking down. Now, that is the natural tendency because you want to see what you're doing, but it will cause you problems. And it looks bad on stage as well. So you want to sit up straight and just look down slightly at your fingers. If you need to, go ahead and look down and then come back up. And that means a straight back. Look at my back. See, I have learned to keep my back pretty straight, not like this. This is not good. And I did this for a long time. So sit up straight and practice your guitar. Keep your back relaxed. If you feel tense, it's time to get up, stretch a little bit, and then sit back down. By the way, I usually practice for intermittent periods. What I mean by that is I practice for a period of 30, 40, for me usually 50 minutes at a time, and then I get up and stretch and move around. For you, you might want to try half hour segments, stretching if you have back problems. And you can extend that if it seems to be working. There is another problem that I see with students, and that's slouching back and playing the guitar. This is often the case when you're like watching TV or lounging in your living room on the couch trying to practice your guitar. Another cool trick is to put your strap on and tighten it while you're sitting down and practicing. What this will do is it'll put your guitar in exactly the same place as when you're standing up. And that way it'll make it much easier to play should you be standing up. It also keeps your guitar from slumping down. So what I've done is tighten my strap so the guitar just touches my lap, but not putting a lot of pressure on it. That way the guitar itself will stay there as I stand up, see? stays in exactly the same spot. So my hand doesn't have to use a different angle. So practicing again, nice straight back. None of this. See how the guitar sits right there, even when I take off my hands. Another tool I like to use that I highly recommend is a footstool. Right now I have my right foot on the footstool and my knee is angled up and the guitar is sitting on my knee and it actually relieves pressure on my back. It helps the guitar stay in place too. It's much easier for me to keep from kind of slouching down. So take a look, my footstool. This is a wooden footstool. It's adjustable. I have it on close to the highest height but you can make it lower if that's more comfortable for you. They come in a metal variety also, which I find very portable. But often in my studio, I prefer to use a little piece of furniture that I bought that just is the right height for me. If you already have pain in your back, all is not lost. There are many things that you can do and hopefully eventually get rid of that pain. First of all, start practicing correctly. And that means no slouching backwards or forwards and really watch for leaning your head down over your guitar. I have found for my back, regular massage really helps me. I particularly like Thai massage, but regular acupressure type massage is also very helpful. Also, I've had to use a chiropractor from time to time and I found that valuable for my back. Now, one of the best things I've ever done is to take up yoga, and the regular stretching has really been a big help to me, and I highly recommend it, not just for your back, but for your whole body and your mind. So now let's recap what we talked about. Back pain can be avoided by practicing regularly and paying attention to good posture when you practice. 
some things to do. Use a strap to hold the guitar in position and make sure and hold it in a place that when you stand up, it stays there. Use a footstool that'll help relieve some tension on your back. Take breaks, stretch and relax. I don't go any longer than an hour of practicing without taking a 10 minute break, but you might want to break it down to 30 minutes. Pay attention to your body. This is the most important thing. If you're starting to feel sore, don't just try to barrel through it. Go ahead and stop, stretch a little bit, and then come back to it. Things to avoid. Leaning over the guitar and looking at your hands. This is the one thing that has caused me a lot of problem over the years. And practicing while slouching in a chair or sofa. As a matter of fact, slouching in a chair in general will eventually cause you back pain no matter what you do. Some other things that help, regular massage has really helped me out, stretching, and especially yoga. This is one of the best things I ever did. And if it gets really bad or more severe, you might want to consider seeing a chiropractor. So that's it for my guitar video on avoiding pain in your back. I hope this has been some help to you, and I hope you take these precautions seriously so that you don't have problems later on. Thanks for listening. I look forward to seeing you in the future. Feel free to send me some comments. Take care. Mm -hmm.